What is up, everybody? Love you guys. Michael Bowman here with Bowman Legacies out here at the remote office. And um, I wanted to talk to you today about grief as it pertains to losing a loved one. Look, I'm here to tell you right now, I have experienced this firsthand. I've officiated funerals of people that I dearly loved and adored and still wish were here to this day. And so I understand, and in order to be able to do that, be able to sit with loved ones or people that I truly admired and hold their hands as they slip off into tomorrow, is under, the way I've been able to do that and process that is understanding grief in a more well-rounded way. I want you guys to understand that grief is not a weakness. It's not weakness coming out of the body. It's none of that ridiculous rhetoric. As a matter of fact, grief is a natural part of us to be able to process both the thoughts in our minds, the feelings in our deep down in our soul, and uh, the ability to be able to move through it. Crying is a part of that process. Um, grieving is a part of that process. And I want to tell you, you know, so often I, I, when I counseled back in the day and was a counselor, I would find people that were grieving over a lost loved one. And one of the things that I found out was so, so riveting is I asked them, I said, do you think this person that you lost would want you to be miserable from them being gone? And inevitably, 100, 100%, 100% of the time, there's the data, 100% of the time, those people would say, no, I believe this person that passed on would want me to be happy. Look, the sooner that you be able allow yourself to grieve, the sooner that you allow yourself to cry, the sooner that you're grateful that you had someone that wonderful worth grieving over in your life, and the sooner you begin to move forward, the sooner you get grief counseling, the sooner that you can move forward on a massive scale and get that weight lifted off of you. Look, we're always going to hurt for that person that we lost, but we don't need to carry it like this giant boulder that's just constantly weighing us down. Look, the person who passed on, I guarantee, wants you to be happy. And if you believe I do, they're looking over the edge of heaven going, dude, they're rooting you on. And so be encouraged today and understand just with that in mind, that person wants you to be happy. That person wants you to keep growing. That person wants you to keep going. That person wants you to build a legacy that will far surpass your legend and inspire others to do the same. So get on with it. You can do this. Absolutely. 100%. I believe in you. And if you haven't heard it this week, I love you.